Dubrovnik, Croatia Dubrovnik historically known as Ragusa is a city on the Adriatic Sea in southern Croatia it is one of the most prominent tourist destinations in the Mediterranean Sea, a seaport and the center of Dubrovnik Neretva County. Situated in an exclave, it is connected to the rest of the country by the Pelyasak Bridge. Its total population is 42,615, 2011 census. In 1979, the city of Dubrovnik was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in recognition of its outstanding medieval architecture and fortified old town. The history of the city probably dates back to the 7th century, when the town known as Ragusa was founded by refugees from Epidorum, Ragusa Vecchia. It was under the protection of the Byzantine Empire and later under the sovereignty of the Republic of Venice, between the 14th and 19th centuries. Dubrovnik ruled itself as a free state. The prosperity of the city was historically based on maritime trade, as the capital of the Maritime Republic of Ragusa, it achieved a high level of development, particularly during the 15th and 16th centuries, as it became notable for its wealth and skilled diplomacy. At the same time, Dubrovnik became a cradle of Croatian literature. The entire city was almost destroyed when a devastating earthquake hit in 1667. During the Napoleonic Wars, Dubrovnik was occupied by the French Empire forces, and then the Republic of Ragusa was abolished and incorporated into the Napoleonic Kingdom of Italy and later into the Illyrian provinces. Later on, in the early 19th to early 20th century, Dubrovnik was part of the Kingdom of Dalmatia within the Austrian Empire. Dubrovnik became part of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia immediately upon its creation, and it was incorporated into its Zeta Banovina in 1929, before becoming part of the Banovina of Croatia upon its creation in 1939. During World War II, it was part of the Axis puppet state independent state of Croatia, before being reincorporated into SR Croatia in SFR Yugoslavia. In 1991, during the Croatian War of Independence, Dubrovnik was besieged by the Yugoslav People's Army for seven months and suffered significant damage from shelling. After undergoing repair and restoration works in the 1990s and early 2000s, it re-emerged as one of the Mediterranean's top tourist destinations.
Dubrovnik was inhabited by the Illyrian tribe of Dalmat in ancient times. According to Constantine Porphyrogenitus's De Administrando Imperio, circa 950, Ragusa was founded in the 7th century, named after a rocky island called Laza, by refugees from Epidorum, Ragusa Vecchia, a Roman city situated some 15 kilometers to the south, when that city was destroyed by Slavs fighting with the Avars. Excavations in 2007 revealed a Byzantine basilica from the 8th century and parts of the city walls. The size of the old basilica clearly indicates that there was quite a large settlement at the time. There is also evidence for the presence of a settlement in the pre-Christian era. After the fall of the Ostrogothic Kingdom, the town came under the protection of the Byzantine Empire. Dubrovnik in those medieval centuries had a Roman population. In 12th and 13th centuries Dubrovnik became a truly oligarchic republic, and benefited greatly by becoming a commercial outpost for the rising and prosperous Serbian state, especially after the signing of a treaty with Stefan I ground. After the Crusades, Dubrovnik came under the sovereignty of Venice, 1205-1358, which would give its institutions to the Dalmatian city. In 1240, Ragusa purchased the island of Lostovo from Stefan Urosai king of Serbia who had rights over the island as ruler of parts of Hum. After a fire destroyed most of the city on the night of August 16, 1296, a new urban plan was developed. By the Peace Treaty of Zadar in 1358, Dubrovnik achieved relative independence as a vassal state of the Kingdom of Hungary. Between the 14th century and 1808, Dubrovnik ruled itself as a free state, although it was a tributary from 1382 to 1804 of the Ottoman Empire and paid an annual tribute to its sultan. The republic reached its peak in the 15th and 16th centuries, when its thalassocracy rivaled that of the Republic of Venice and other Italian maritime republics. For centuries, Dubrovnik was an ally of Ancona, the other Adriatic maritime republic rival of Venice, which was itself the Ottoman Empire's chief rival for control of the Adriatic. This alliance enabled the two towns set on opposite sides of the Adriatic to resist attempts by the Venetians to make the Adriatic a Venetian bay. Ancona and Dubrovnik developed an alternative trade route to the Venetian, Venice Austria Germany 
starting in Dubrovnik it went on to Ancona, through Florence and ended in Flanders the Republic of Ragusa received its own statutes as early as 1272, which, among other things, codified Roman practice and local customs. The statutes included prescriptions for town planning and the regulation of quarantine, for sanitary reasons. The Republic was an early adopter of what are now regarded as modern laws and institutions, a medical service was introduced in 1301, with the first pharmacy, still operating to this day, being opened in 1317. An almshouse was opened in 1347, and the first quarantine hospital, Lazarete, was established in 1377. Slave trading was abolished in 1418. The city was ruled by the local aristocracy which was of Latin Dalmatian extraction and formed two city councils. As usual for the time, they maintained a strict system of social classes. The Republic abolished the slave trade early in the 15th century and valued liberty highly. The city successfully balanced its sovereignty between the interests of Venice and the Ottoman Empire for centuries. The economic wealth of the Republic was partially the result of the land it developed, but especially of seafaring trade. With the help of skilled diplomacy, Dubrovnik merchants traveled lands freely and the city had a huge fleet of merchant ships, Argosy, that traveled all over the world. 